Hello and welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. Last time when we played Morrowind, we were doing some random quests which we found on the way from um, Caldera to Aldrun. And the last thing we did is we were delivering exquisite clothing to a clothier here under the oath to one of the Daedric Lords. And now I think since we can, we proved that we can kill people rather easily now, we are strong enough with our spark spell, we can check out the thief on the way from Balmora to Vivek and kill them and then check for quests within Vivek. Okay, so let's just leave this place and fast travel to Balmora and of course I'm going to use the guild fast travel, the guild steward, because it is easier. Also remember, for the major skill, we still have the um, the quest to find a Dwarven Ruin near Dagon Fell. It is on my list. So I'm not planning to forget it. I told you we will see again very soon. Do we have something that we can trade? Well, you know what? I'm going to real quick show you. I have 800 gold. Ooh, that's very expensive. Do I need all four of them? Let me see. If, ah, that was three. For cheaper. There we go. Now let me see. So when I equip them, then the, all the apparatuses that I have will be put in here, and then I can s simply select ingredients. And here I see the effect of the ingredients. For example, train speed, agility, and then you need to find two ingredients which have the same. Um, effect like here water walking and there water walking and then I can select the violet caprinus and the amp fuel pod and this will make a potion of water walking and I can create twice I can try to create the potion twice so this is how it works the trouble is that you need to either need to remember the effects here or write down what you need for a specific potion else you're going to, like when I have Drain Strength selected, you're going to look through all of this for another Drain Strength. And this is really, really annoying. In the later games they have made this easier, so you select, for example, an effect, or you select one and it will highlight all of those who have uh, have a combined effect that, you, that actually do something. Here I have Restore Fatigue, this, this will actually help me. Restore Fatigue, and there was another Restore Fatigue down here. The Hound Meat, okay. Well, I created one potion, and this potion that I created just helped me learn Alchemy. Fortify Endurance. So, of course, I'm going to do Helper Potions for us. So I can now sell everything except the hound meat to our good friend. So if I sold all of these three back, I would only get like 300 and something. So I'm going to keep them and instead sell all of the ingredients. So this is why I never bothered with this game mechanic. 
of course it means that now I have way less weight that I can carry around until I finally find somewhere to live. And I'm stressing this because I, of course, did download a mod which allows me to do so. I did download a mod which contains a house fit for a mage. I haven't actually seen that house yet. But I, can spare I should moments. know where it is. But I, I kind of want to discover it along the way. So now we're going to walk towards Vivek in search for Nels Lendo with two L at the beginning of his last name. Because he is flagged here as a bandit, which means he will ask us for money and if we don't give him the money he will openly attack us. This is the way that we've been walking very often. So it's not that spectacular. And that's the downside of doing these not right away. I think now now I can just do them right away when I see them. But at the beginning of the game I was too afraid of having to fight those people. I think now that we did, in the moment that we defeated the naked man, we proved that we are able to defeat harder enemies. Speaking of which, of course, I did the poison thing and messed that one up. And now I don't have to cast another of my spark spells. Isn't this perfect? Well, on the other hand, I can just kill him that way. It does make me... It does make me hurt more. But now I can just... I'm going to... Train Restoration... I'm pretty sure I have one of these. Mark Harthiel. There we go. Pretty simple. So that one doesn't take that much energy and it trains restoration. So it enables me to cast stronger spells later. I think the way to Vivek is... First to Pelagiat, which is head away. Nice sunset between these mushroom trees. <sighs> yeah, one thing I did here is that there is a game that uses the, um, I think, the Oblivion engine or even the Skyrim engine to recreate the Morrowind game, and they're very far as in you can actually play the main quest and most of the other quests far. And I didn't know about this when I started the game, so if I had known about this before, I would have simply you know, installed that and played the new version, which I've never did. Because over here this is... Well, I do know parts of it. Sorry. 
think we already helped her. How may I help you, Khajiit? Yeah, this is the one who who was um, madly in love with that one bandit. It's called Nelos, not Nels. Mind you, two different people. If I can find him, I will check for him in the next, in between two episodes. But then we will also have the opportunity to do some quests in Vivek. So this is Pelagiat. And as you might see, as you might hear, I pronounce these names German, which is because I'm simply used to do so. I don't even know if they are pronounced like that in German versions of the game. On the other hand, you don't hear the names pronounced most of the time. Vivek, Evanhard, there we go. that we can still do and it's mm, it's hard for me to decide where to go next usually because I know that the, all this walking is not that interesting and right now I'm actually out of ideas of what to talk about which makes it even harder I think this is the person I was looking for so I could have written on the road between Pelagiat and Vivek, which would have made it way easier. I would have traveled to Balmora. Had a way shorter road. Yeah, this is Nels Lolendo. Greetings, my friend. It is I, Nels Lolendo. Greetings, Nels. Ah, I see, you've heard of me. I am not surprised. No, no, don't tremble in fear. Nels Lolendo is a reasonable man. Hardly the cutthroat some would make out me out to be. I offer you a fair and healthy proposition. Oh, you have a proposition for me. A very simple proposition, actually. You will give me 50 septims, and in return you will be allowed to continue safely on your journey. Nels Lalendu gives you his word as a gentleman that, once our transaction has taken place, you have nothing to fear from me. In fact, I can be a, be a very good friend to have. What say you? Never. You will suffer. I fear you are making an unwise decision, my friend, but... So be it, though I hate to soil my clothes with your blood. No matter, such is the life of Nels Lolendo. Now we have to have him take us once. And of course I did a very, very big thing wrong. This is why I'm just going to let myself die. Um, I actually forgot to rest. Which I'm going to do now. Of course, we do need the magicka for this. Does he offer training? No. Never I have you. Goodbye. Come on, damage me. Oh, there is no, there is no witness here anyway, so it doesn't matter. So he has a steel flame blade, sounds very awesome, and he has medium armor, bone mold, expensive pants, ex an exquisite shirt, let me try that on. Hmm. I think the old one was better. And 100 gold. And now he's laying there naked on the road to Vivek. Such is the death of Nels Lolendo. Onward to Vivek. Ah, 
after we killed that Nazla and a fe fellow of course a simple rat is attacking us which we don't seem to hit damn it you rat off to the back I'm just read all those names real quick Orlando removed from our to-do list which now has 12 items that we have is what we're going to do now the quests in Vivek we have a chest in a hut north of Kinesis also north of Kinesis is a ring which we can fish out of a pond and if we do so we are going to be attacked by someone by the woman who asked us and someone hidden we want to charm Hainab Lasami in Kinesis because he has the pants of one other guide we have a spooky house in Aldrun, which has a very high lock level that we need to unlock. Someone wants to be escorted to Cold Cave. We have a temper quest for compassion, where we need to heal the blight disease from someone. We need a potion of cure common disease for hiding deep raid. We have a slave market in Molagmar, which we can free. I think we, I think I'm going to hold off of that, um, freeing the slaves until I finish the main quest. And then we collected, on today's recordings, collected the quest to go to Musuleth, which is southwest of Dagenfell. And I'm, this is why I'm reading the signs. I'm keeping my eye open if I can see Dagenfell somewhere on the map. And oh, one of them is checking the Twitch stream page for information. <laughs> okay. And we have Ilunibi, that little cave at Karthag Point, which I think will come in, will become important during the main quest, so we will make it anyway. I need to check if I can add a uh, lower, uh, low priority tag. Oh, sorry, oh, low priority tag to entries. Mm, I've not been sleeping well the last weeks, so I am pretty tired. Let's check out the locals. There is a Black Shark Corner Club, which usually is a hideout for thieves. Macera. Orvin Dever. He doesn't like me. He actually insults me by calling me an Enwa. Well, he at least is friendly. Sells things. Of course, mostly alcohol. I don't need the Rising Force potion. I can. No, oh wait, that's exactly it. that's the levitation. I don't need the fortify health though. I wouldn't use it anyway. That's a cure common disease for. Hey. Well, we can do those two quests: hiding deep raid and the temple. Because we do have that stuff. And we need to find someone who buys weapons from us. Well, anywho, let's give him a discount because he doesn't like us that much. Thank you very much. Who do we have here? Hulia. Hulia is preoccupied um, with this his own said, affairs. What is this regarding Khajiit? And they call us Fisher. They Clearly, this the people Kajit? don't like us. So, Masera. I'm so curious what's down here. 
A locked room. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Okay, he knows what the blades are, which is interesting because it's um it's a secret society and still the people know. So he has medium armor, blunt weapon, and axe. All three things we will never use. Okay, thank you very much. Let us leave this place. So yeah, I'm going to check out all the um, all the people and um, well, not not the ordinators. Sarin, do you have something for me? It doesn't seem so. She doesn't. Go ahead. Or he. Okay. Saren is a male's name. Ma'am, do you have something for me to do? No. Okay. And you don't even buy all Can't these things. What will you buy then? An alchemist, how quaint. I'm listening. Go ahead. Well, she also has things that we already have or should not sell, lest we lose lots of money. Chobash has rare, rare books. We will be a very valued customer here at some point. Because I want to fill my house with lots of books. Shubasha doesn't have Go any quest for us. Yet, a chest of books for general sale. Okay, no quests for us here. I was pretty sure there are multiple quests here. Let's check downstairs. Well, I think downstairs is nothing. Nope. Nothing here. And the kennel works if there is someone hiding there. It usually is Steve's Gill if it is. I think it's from Canal Works, isn't it? There is actually a bookshop sh here. Okay. Do you have something for me? No, only books. What's okay. this thing? It's quite interesting. They said in the canal books only only cleaners go there, and there's even two stores there. Jerusha, a healer. He has spells. That's interesting. So he has two open spells, but uh, the one that we need is would be 70, so we need um, a, a, an open spell. Or we could use the wild open, which is like a random. Two cure common disease spells with different names. Hmm. What do you sell? Okay, just what I expected. I need to remember that there is in the canal in the canal works. Actually, shop. There is even a tomb down here. I don't want to go. Tomb braiding now. And then you can go into the Underworks, which basically is an actual canal. With the rats and all that stuff. Okay, our waste works. We can go to the other canal works. I was just checking if there is a run button, but we in fact are already running. This is the normal walking speed. And there's even more down here. The 
is it close here? Go ahead, stranger. Ma'am, you don't have you don't by chance have any quest for me or something? Any thing I can do for you? No? Well, thank you. And there you go. What is this? A general trader. What words do you have for me, citizen? Jian, you're you're a trader. Certainly, you, you can uh, you can give me something for these. <laughs> and especially the boots of blinding speed. I have to get rid of them. She only has 300 gold, so I'm going to take back a few things. Let's sell those boots for 300 gold. Offer. Do you by chance, you're a trader, do you per chance have a job for me? No. If you want something. That's the tomb again. So to connect these two. And a wooden door to... Looks like some kind of temple. Yes, this and... Uh, these drinks and... Magic. Interesting. What's this about? Right. No job postings found. Well, let's head upstairs. Well. Oh. The stairs are over here. Let's head to the upper waste works. Check the map. Uh, doesn't seem too much here. How about you? How about Baisa? Do you have something, some work for me? No, but she, she also is a general trader. Okay. What do you want? This seems to be an alchemist. Speak traveler. She also doesn't have any quest for me. But she has a skuma pipe. Which you can use to, I think the skooma pie was the thing that you need to to make skooma from moon sugar. She sells some potions and spells, resistances, burden touch, vitality should be fortify um, health. So it seems like there is. Nothing more up here. So let's head up onto the top of the foreign quarter. And of course, when I say the top, I mean I, I exited the wrong um, exit. I mean, this little dome here, which is, I should have exited here. And I thought. This is what I did, and then I can just go up here and go to the foreign pl quarter plaza and check out the people there. He we have a smith oh, who does not have a job, but he can repair all my stuff real quick. Well, he can also buy all these 408 gold, all these. Very good. Citizen. That's what I am, a citizen. The Guild of Fighters. I'm not associated with the Guild of Fighters. Do you have something to do for me? No. Oh, look, there is Akashi. Do you need some some help? You look kind of helpless out back there. Oh. Take this, friend. I think everyone should read this leaflet. It has important information on it. A leaflet? It has important information on it. Something must be done. 
Okay, let's see. Inflet. Beware. Have no dealings with Orana Frenes. She's known to be, to be both underhanded and unethical in her dealings. The materials she uses are both shoddy and dangerous. You could come to great harm from her products. Her ship should be awaited at all costs. See these testimonials. I took potion and got sick. Lost good lunch. Crockbob G. Her materials look old and stale. Not good for chemical use. Darren O. She should be disemboweled and fed to Nyx Hounds. Longar F. Okay. What was the name? Auran Erna Frenris. I think we should. So if you could hurry this up. I think we should confront her with that, shouldn't we? Well, this is the Guild of Mages. Of course it is. And there is another smith over here. I'm a busy guy, so if you could hurry this up. Oh, welcome to my shop, strangers. So... Grumble, grumble. I nearly ripped off my headphones uh, because the cord got stuck. And the wireless headphones uh, are downstairs in the home office. Well, let me re quick, real quick write down the leaflet confront with it. I wrote confront dot 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 with it because I already forgot the name. I'm going to fill in the name later. Oh, there's plenty of these days in Vivek. I mean, Relan Tilver is my nearest competitor and he's just a block away and oh, business he does. I'm certain he's doing something shady, but I don't know what it is yet. He just gets all of the big orders. Big orders? What do you mean? Well, just recently I heard he got an order for 20 different swords and at least 8 full suits of armor. I don't sell that in a month. I, I'd really like to get that contract for myself. You want to get a contract, you say? Sure, I like that contract. How would you like to help me out, friend? If you could steal that contract from Realm Tilver, you wouldn't be able to fill the order properly. Then when his customer shows up to collect, I'll be ready with a proper order. Well, I'll get that contact for you. Excellent. I knew you were a person who understood a good deal when you heard one. He's probably got the contract locked up in his private quarters beneath his shop, but I don't think he's got it well guarded. Good luck. And yes, of course, I am a mage of questionable um, ethics. So this one is just... let me just real quick... Check the leaflet and... Change the name. It is Aurana Furnace. There we go. And yes. What is this regarding oh, Okay, this is somewhere lot level fifty. Which I could do with an Undoozy, but he needs Probably to nothing. not be watching me. What happens if I just use the Undoozy's open door in the open? It is a crime. As I thought. Well, honestly... But his disposition doesn't change towards me. So basically, if I go in here, I just need to pay the fine for trespassing. Which is fine. Shouldn't be that much. Because that's the rule of the game. And there's the contract. Let me really quick sneak while I take it. Because if I do so, my sneak skill will be better. Because I only... No, he will, they will take any stolen goods off of me. So what I'm going to do is real quick... Reopen the door. You didn't know what I did down there. But Sarah... Get on the plaza, drop the contract, so it doesn't get taken away from me. Direction, store spirits, what's an hour contract? 
and report myself to the police. And I'm going to pay the five gold. So what what happens is is um. Oh, it's or surrender your stolen goods. Okay. What words do you? Want? I think in the later games the it the game takes all stolen goods off of you, also. Okay, let's get to the other guys, smith so and give him up. the contract. There you go. And I got the Firebite War Axe, which I don't want. It is an axe and I don't fight with axes. So you can have it. Since you like me so much, I would give me a little bit more money. Come on. You gave me a 12 gold thing. It's like nearly nothing. And it's one of your better pieces. No, but no wonder you didn't get the contract, honestly. Speak, traveler. And with that done... I am going to stop this recording. My roommate should reappear soon. So, I'll leave you waiting for the next episode. And how long that be will be decided, as always, by the dice. Bye-bye.